All right, guys, so I, what was the last thing? I think I showed you guys what I got from the at-home store. And then my daughter helped me rearrange the furniture. I don't wanna show it too much, but y'all know it's time for the daily haul. All right, so here we go. So a recent video that I just posted live today, but it was filmed weeks and weeks and weeks ago, was the dress that I wore for my daughter's baccalaureate. And it was actually the dress that I bought for her graduation day, but I ended up using it for the baccalaureate. And yes, I can essentially wear the same dress. Don't want to, so I went back to that same website where I got that original dress and I found this one, which is so beautiful. I'll have to insert a picture of what it looks like on the model so that you can see how gorgeous this is. But it is a mint green sagey color and it ties right here. So if you can kind of see, so your arm kind of is bare right here and then it has flowy sleeves. It's just so beautiful. The back is an open back. Can you see that? Sorry, I'm just, I'm a little out of it, I'm tired. But it's beautiful. And also, this is going to be perfect for our family vacation family photo that we take every year at the beach. And we are doing a variety of colors this year. And I chose all the colors and mint green is one of the options. So everybody gets a chance to kind of choose the color they want instead of us all wearing like the same thing. But I chose colors that I thought would be really complimentary on the beach to the water. So I chose mint green, baby blue, or teal. So, and then I never even realized that this dress would work. It wasn't until I think my sister-in-law told me, she was like, oh, this would also be perfect for our, for our family picture. And I was like, you're so right. So two uses out of this. Well, obviously more, cause I'll continue to wear it. It'll be really cute as a date night dress as well. So got that. Definitely needs to be steamed. And I got some more Nikes. I love shoes. Like I, I don't know what to tell you people, but shoes is my thing. And I also don't like spending that much on shoes either. That's not to say I haven't before, but I really, I really don't even like to go over $80. Like that's my, my max and that's a lot for me. In a perfect world, I'd spend like 20 bucks. So I just got some white Nikes. There's really nothing, sorry, but white is always blinding. There's really nothing that fancy. I got these off of eBay and my whole life I've been buying a size eight and I re I'm realizing that's not what I should have done with running shoes. I should have bought a half size bigger. So these are an eight and a half. And yeah, just, just plain white. I also want these not just for working out, but for an outfit. One of my favorite fashion, no, she is my favorite fashion YouTuber to watch. Her name is Laura Blair. And she had this video where she wore an all white outfit, jeans, sweater, and white tennis shoes. And it was, posh and I was like I got I gotta do that so this was my inspiration for that I'll find that video of hers and link it down below for you in case you want to see that outfit um, and how this was my inspiration so here's a quick collection of my Nikes uh, I feel like I definitely have some colors missing here but here are the new ones I just got these are from Shein these are from just fab I need to wear these. Um, I love my Shein ones so much. They're so adorable. They're just a little hard. I mean, good grief, but the print is everything. Anyway, these are my classic Cortez Nikes. They're probably my favorite shoes out of every shoe I own are these classics. I love these two, wear these often to the gym because they go with a lot of stuff. You guys know, and if you don't know, neon yellow is my absolute favorite color to wear to the gym. These are so old, and by the way, these most of these shoes are very old. Um, 
These are a couple years old, couple years old. I love these so much, I rarely wear them. <laughs> I'm trying to preserve them. That's how much I love those. These are actually fairly new and I haven't worn them to the gym. I, I probably need to here really soon. I got these off of Amazon. You probably would have seen them in my vlog haul not too long ago. These are also very old. I actually wore these to the gym today and these are fairly new. I got them for myself two Christmases ago when I originally got them for my daughter but they were too big for her because her size was sold out and then I decided I was just going to keep them for myself but they wore out so fast the quality of these were not impressive at all and I rarely rarely wore those so kind of pissed about that but otherwise this they, these are all my Nikes I mean for somebody who loves running if you think about it that's well I can't say that's not a lot because it is a lot but um Sometimes I'll watch YouTubers with fitness channels and they have just every shoe of every color and it's just, it's really cute and cool. I love seeing that. So anyway, there's a quick collection. So what did not get done today is we did not switch out my bedding with the new stuff. My back is killing me from the gym. I went jogging. I, I ran on the treadmill. I know it's my fault, but it's almost like a sickness. I, I can't help myself um so i didn't get that done we didn't go to walmart and get makeup wipes or light bulbs so that will be tomorrow's task we are going to head off to hobby lobby tomorrow and kind of take a look at some decor i think i might want to add one more thing to my fireplace but other than that other than waiting for my tv i feel like the living room is completely done so that's really exciting. I've decided I'm not gonna do a coffee table and you're gonna see why when I do the full reveal. And yeah, so I'm super happy with how the living room turned out. It is amazing what some damn pillows can do to your decor. It, it, it's mind blowing. It, it either elevates your look and if you don't, like if it's not right, it could really just hinder it, but uh, at the end of the day though, it's your house, it's your style. You want one pillow, you want no pillows, you want crazy pillows, do you. What are you doing? Do you want to be in the vlog today? I can't ever be on the floor because then she wants to crawl right up next to me. She is the snuggliest dog. Lolly, my dog before her. Lolly wasn't as snuggly. Um, but, oh my gosh, Loxy acts like a cat in a lot of ways. She has to rub up against me and she'll rest her head on my leg. It's so cute. Aren't you adorable, boo boo? Yeah. Oh, you're so pretty. Oh my goodness. You're so pretty. Let's go and see what uh, what's happening outside. I need to mow the lawn. Loxy keeps chasing bunnies. A couple of lights went out on there, so I need to replace them. Mm, quiet, quiet night. Kind of reminds me of the burbs. Queenie. Come on, Locks. I have no idea if I got enough clips for a whole vlog, but that is it for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed spending some time with me tomorrow. Come back for the next vlog when hopefully I get this taken care of. We're gonna take care of my bed, put in the other the other bedding, and we're gonna run to Walmart and Hobby Lobby. So that's on the agenda. Oh, I also have a, a chiropractor appointment tomorrow, so I gotta go do that. And 
that's tomorrow's agenda. And, uh, yeah, so hope you guys have a good rest of your night. And if you need it, if you just need more company, you can put your girl on repeat. And did that come off weird and egotistical? Because that is not how I meant it. That was really awkward and weird. Um, whatever. I hope that you guys have a good night. And I'm going to go plop in a movie. I don't know which movie to put in. I'm sure something 80s. And then I'll see you guys tomorrow.